Hello. Hi there. It's Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, so I'm learning new facts, like this. According to Wikipedia, Waimura Shoin was a major artist when women in Japan were rarely allowed for an art training. Her career took off at age 15 when Queen Victoria's son bought her painting. Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review and I've got an announcement to make about the Galaxy Watch 4 as of May 24th, which is today, uh, Samsung Electronics and Google have teamed up, of course, uh, to build a unified Wear OS uh, platform. And this means starting today, the Galaxy Watch 4 users will also be able to download Google Assistant on their devices, gaining access to fast, more natural voice interactions, quick answers to questions, on-the-go help, with access to both Bixby and Google Assistant, consumers will have more advanced voice assistant functionality right from their wrists. Now, it is going to be available in uh, by market. So these are the 10 markets that it's launching at today. Uh, Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Ireland, Japan, Taiwan, Korea, the UK, and the United States, and of course, I'm in the United States. Now, it supports 12 different languages as well, and getting this on your watch is very simple. I'm going to kind of show you uh, how to do it really quickly, and uh, it's finally here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that uh, you have your Galaxy Watch 4 ready to go. Uh, and this is pretty simple. You're uh, going to uh, want to make sure that you have everything updated by going to the Play Store directly on the watch. So they make it super simple and easy here. Uh, you can see that I just installed mine. It's uh, just called Assistant, uh, and I can open it or uninstall it. Uh, but if we go back, uh, all you're going to do is just search for Google Assistant in the Play Store and you can ins install it. I think it's about 11 megabytes when I did that. Uh, so no problems. You'll just search for it directly on the watch and install it and then you should be good to go. So let's open it up here and show you. It says activate Google Assistant on your watch to get started. You just press the button and it's going to say to talk to Google Assistant on your watch. First, activate it from your phone. So obviously we have to go over to our phone companion to get it set up here. Uh, so we're going to do that. It'll say continue on the phone and then we'll go over to my S22 Ultra here. Uh, and this uh, whole process uh, literally takes about two minutes. Uh, so not a big deal. Now it's connected. It'll say use your voice and to send texts and uh, quick answers, manage your day. And you're going to want to click on either set up later, which you won't want to do, or activate. So we're going to activate that. It'll take a second to activate it. And once it's activated, uh, you can uh, choose to use uh, the Hey Google uh, wake word if you want to, but be known that if you do that, uh, standby mode uses more watch battery. So I'm going to actually enable it for now, uh, but I probably will end up disabling this and just using the button so that I can keep my battery life. You have to agree to voice match, which is not a big deal. Saving audio is your choice, so you can either start saving audio or not saving audio. I'm not going to do that. And then, of course, getting personal results with your watch. You can do that if you want. Uh, I'm going to turn that on. And then you can assign your assistant to the home button, which is what I'll show you how to do. And this is how I like to use it uh, because, again, uh, always being in that standby mode is going to drain your battery a little bit more. Uh, so there we go. So that's it. And then you're set up and ready to go. So now we are ready to go on the watch. Uh, so let's uh, go through how to set the button uh, so that it will uh, be, instead of being like power off, which is the way mine's set now, we can actually set that 
to uh, be the wake button for assistant. Okay, so and to do that, what we're going to want to do is go down to uh, settings. Uh, so once you open settings, uh, then we'll go down to Google just to make sure that our assistant is there. And there are a couple options here for assistant, uh, one being uh, the Hey Google wake word or your speech output, whether you want it to actually talk back to you or not. So you can have that. Uh, so you've got that all right there. Now, as far as adding this to a button, uh, adding this to a button is uh, not difficult. We just have to go into uh, settings again. And once we go into settings, we are going to go to advanced features. And then when you go down to beyond advanced features, you go to customize keys and there's your home key. Uh, and usually double pressing or pressing and hold. I had press and hold for my power off and now you have Wake Bixby and now we have assistant. So now we're good to go with pressing and holding, uh, which is the way I'm going to hold this. And once we do, there it is. We now finally have a Google Assistant on our uh, Watch 4. I have the LTE version, just in case you guys were wondering, and it is running on T-Mobile, but obviously this shouldn't make too much of a difference. Okay, so there you go. That's how you get everything set up on your Galaxy Watch 4. I hope you guys are excited about this as I am and will be able to use the Google Assistant uh, for everything that we've been wanting since it's been released. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this, please uh, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because uh, that always helps me out. I'll check you guys out on the next video.